For those wondering, who is Yevgeny Prigozhin, the mercenary leader of the Wagner Group, who seems set to fight his way into Moscow, we have a special report. In fact, Prigozhin has been a loyal supporter of Vladimir Putin so far. It seemed at one time that Prigozhin was ready to depose Putin. Here's a short background on Yevgeny Prigozhin. He was convicted of assault and robbery in 1981 and sentenced to 12 years in jail. He subsequently opened a restaurant business in St. Petersburg in the 90s. It's here that he became friends with Vladimir Putin, earning the label Putin's chef. Prigozhin rose up the ranks and became part of a group that revered the Soviet leader, Joseph Stalin. He formed the Wagner Group of Mercenaries, which has seen action in Crimea in 2014 and North Africa and Syria. It has a key role to play, the Wagner Group, in Ukraine, where Russian prisoners were released and inducted into the ranks of Wagner with clear instructions. A shot at freedom that eventually resulted in the deaths of thousands of these prisoners in Wagner's service. In December 2016, the U.S. imposed sanctions on 15 Russian entities, including Mr. Prigozhin, whose Wagner Group had helped Russia annex Crimea from Ukraine in 2014. In fact, this is why if you ask any Ukrainian leader when the war started, they'll say 2014, not 2022. In February 2018, Prigozhin was indicted by a U.S. grand jury for interfering, allegedly, in the 2016 presidential election in America by helping to spread fake news in support of Donald Trump's campaign. In October last year, things started to turn sour between Putin and Prigozhin. After being called to fight in Ukraine, Prigozhin opposed the Russian decision to withdraw from the strategic Russian city of Liman in East Ukraine. He said this withdrawal was a major embarrassment for Russia. In February this year, he's accused the Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu and Putin's most senior general, Valery Gerasimov, of withholding ammunition and supplies in an effort to destroy his Wagner group of mercenaries. Last month in May, there was another fierce volley of words when he threatened to withdraw his soldiers from the eastern Ukrainian city of Bakhmut, where eventually he was able to defeat the Ukrainian army in the fiercest and most costly battle of this war so far. Yevgeny Prigozhin refused to comply with an instruction to sign an order that would require his fighters to sign a contract with the Russian Defense Ministry. Things reached a turning point when Prigozhin said the Russian invasion to Ukraine had been a racket and that the war was not needed and that it had been enforced so that some generals could be conferred military honors. Eventually on Friday and Saturday, Prigozhin had had enough, ordering his soldiers from Ukraine into Russia where he captured the city of Rostov, the headquarters for all Russian military operations in Ukraine, and then set the stage for a possible coup attempt in Moscow, which, as we now know, didn't eventually happen.